You know, with the advent of the commercial space revolution, with the fact that human beings are finally going to domesticate space travel, it's worth celebrating for once why we want to explore the heavens to begin with. And Marina Benjamin perhaps has the best line. She says, when we dream of space, we dream of transcendence. We dream of what we might become. The exploratory journey, that desire to break through boundaries, to probe the perimeters of possibility, to explore the adjacent possible, that is what it means to be human. We didn't stay in the caves, says Kurzweil. We didn't stay on the planet. With biotechnology, we won't stay with the limitations of biology. In fact, today, by leveraging exponentially emerging technologies, we're going to have computers trillions of times more powerful navigating spaceships that are millions of times cheaper taking us to space. Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic is going to take artists into space. What's going to happen when poets and artists look down upon the Earth? What new reflections that will uplift the human spirit, that will thrust human consciousness towards the numinous might transform Inspire. When we keep pushing beyond all limits, when we get to Kubrick's Beyond the Infinite, the place where dreams are born through the wormhole, down the rabbit hole, it's glorious. It's what Neil deGrasse Tyson says, doing what's never been done before is intellectually seductive, whether or not we deem it practical. It's what we do. It's what makes us cosmic heroes cosmic revolutionaries, not stooges conscripted to advance a natural order that kills everyone. So let us go forth.